Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe Malia's World. Today I'm making another crock pot meal. What I'm making today is I'm going to put a turkey breast in the crock pot. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee. All right, y'all. Here's what you got to do. It takes a very few ingredients and it's really, really simple, but I will include all the ingredients in the description. Here's all you got to have. You got to have a turkey breast. You do. You gotta have a little bit of water. You've got to have some seasoning salt. You need some black pepper, Italian seasoning, a little bit of cooking oil, and you need some minced garlic. You also need a pastry brush or a grilling brush of some sort. All right, go ahead and put your crock pot on low, okay? Go ahead and turn it on and let it be preheating while we're working with the turkey. So first thing you want to do, guys, wash your hands good because you're about to get messy and you're about to have to wash them again. Take your pastry brush, dip it in that oil, and you want to give this turkey a bath. What I did, I removed most of the skin. Um... It just helps give it more flavor, helps the seasoning that you put on there get to it a little better. You by no means have to do that. I did not remove it all, but I did remove most of the skin. So that's entirely up to you what you want to do. It's still going to be delicious either way, I promise. All right. Give this turkey a bath. Takes just a minute. And it doesn't take that much oil either. You just want to make sure that you get all over the turkey breast as much as you can. All right. Once that's over, you want to take your dry ingredients, which is your Italian seasoning, pepper, and your seasoning salt in a bowl. And you just want to kind of mix them up. You can mix them with your hands because you're going to get it on your hands anyway. Alrighty? So just mix the three of those together just like that. And you're going to take this mixture, you're going to sprinkle it on the old turkey, and you're going to rub it in. Okay? Just rub it in. You're going to get it everywhere, so just beware. But it's okay. It's okay if you do. Clean up the mess anyway. All right, once you get the turkey rubbed with all the seasoning, as good as you can, ooh, all right, take your minced garlic, and you're going to want to get you a big old heaping tablespoon of that, or two, depending on how big your bird is, you can kind of, you can kind of gauge what, how much you've got to get. Take your hands again and just go through here and just pat this garlic right around the top. Now, it's not going to stick to the edges. Basically, what you're going to do is put it around the pre pre perimeter, pre <laughs> perimeter, I'm so silly, of the turkey, just like that, okay? Just like that doesn't have to be beautiful because this looks horrible. <laughs> but that's it. That's all you've got to do to the turkey to get it ready to put in the crock pot. And this is what the turkey is going to look like right before you put it in the crock pot. That is it. Okay, once you get your turkey in your crock pot, you're going to take your water and you're just going to pour it in the bottom of the crock pot. You don't want to pour it over the turkey. You really just want to put it in the bottom. So, take your lid, put it on your crock pot, and you're going to let this cook on low temperature for five to six hours. And I'll be back. All right, the turkey is all done. I think it's time to let Big Joe do the taste test. All right, Big Joe. 
Let's try this turkey and see what you think about it. Mm. Smell good. It smells real good. And you're starving. I am starving. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's real good. Is it garlicky? Mm-hmm. It should be. It's got a lot of garlic on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's real good. I got five words for this. Mm-mm. 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 All right, that's it for the crock pot turkey. You try this recipe, please let us know down in those comments because we do like to know how you like all our recipes. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Jumbly's world into your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye.